What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Sam Beast, and you're chilling. Walking to breakfast. We're going to have a a coffee and a sound, and a, one of those burritos. Those shits are bomb. That shit will get you through the whole day, bro. One burrito and a cup of coffee. <sighs> We're going to switch up and I don't know. But anyways, remember when you knew the guy who owned the road? Remember those days? God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Dude, you know which one was fun? The the jungle train one. That shit was a fun. Everybody tried to bring that shit back. That's just crazy. But anyways, good times. Um, the jungle train. That shit's tight. Um, Big Dick's Daily, baby. So today, we're talking sports. How can we properly phase kids? Because you know how our city is rapidly growing into, like, a local city? And we're getting the Raiders? How do we phase our athletes so that they're capable of representing Las Vegas and at the same time do their fucking job? You know, because it's hard to live in Vegas. There's all kinds of traps. There's all kinds of, like, all kinds of things that can fuck up a, well, you know, an athlete, you know. Like the gaming and the fucking drinking and the prostitution and the fucking trichologists and all that shit, you know. So, like, how do we get it to the point where our athletes can just focus on being athletes, bro? Because, you know, like, a lot of the people are probably going to be transient. You know, transplants from other places. But how do we, like, phase our NFL team or, like, our future NBA team? Because if they're too busy worried about the Vegas life, bro, and they can't play basketball, there's no point in paying them because of the fact that we're not winning shit. And then we have to win shit in order to, like, to sell merchandise and get... You know, we, we, we don't care about... I mean, we care about the athlete's personal life, but at the same time... We care about them being able to win championships, you know? It's like you don't want to have uh, the city gout, you know, when you bring in a brand new team or you bring in a brand new athlete because what happens is you bring in an athlete, he's capable in another city because he's local and shit, you know, he's the hometown hero, he went to school there, probably showed up to your girlfriend's quinceanera and shit, fucking bought you a fucking birthday cake one time back in the days or some shit. But when he comes to Vegas, don't nobody know him. That fool looks like a fucking money sign. All the hoes want to rob him. All the hoods want to drop him. You know, everybody wants to break his ass, you know? So he can't focus on playing the sport. And then you know what happens? We don't win championships. We don't get up in the NBA roster. We don't get up on the, on the NFL rankings, bro, you know? Fuck all that. But anyways, I just wanted to know, you know, there's a lot of smart people in town. How to properly phase these athletes so we can protect the investment, bro. You know, because you have to remember that sports are an investment and somebody does have to pay these people. And it's like not fair that they're going to spend all this money paying these athletes just so that the city can fuck them up and make them not win shit, you know, because then that, that hurts the team owner, the franchise owner, that hurts ticket sales, that hurts merchandise, that hurts the fucking city, bro, because then nobody gives a fuck about Vegas, because Vegas doesn't win shit, because they're too busy with a drug problem, they're too busy chasing hoes, they're too busy dealing with the, with, with, with the racial fever and shit, you know, and they can't play fucking sports, so see it that way, like, like if you had to pay that athlete, and the community in the city kept fucking up your athlete, wouldn't you feel bad, you know? Put yourself in the owner's shoes, bro. You know? Why are you going to pay all these fucking athletes all this money just for the city to fucking break them, bro? And then not even let them do their job. It's it's, it's not fair, bro. You know? Big Dick's Daily.